down the words engaged neural conditioning. Engage means that whatever it is has to be engaging enough to both catch and hold your attention and stop it from wandering. Yes, even your distraction experts out there. I just saw you check your phone. I did. I saw it. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to tune out and there'll be zero impact. And it'll just be another course you bought and didn't finish. Neuron means the activity must be focused on retraining the brain to produce specific types of chemicals that signal the receptor sites to upgrade their wardrobe. And now we get to the most important part of it. Conditioning. You must get past the cell inertia. And a great analogy to explain this with, guys, is the compass. And that's because your mind and my mind is very similar to a compass needle in the way that it has a default magnetic north place it'll usually gravitate to, which, as we know for most people, especially today, is more facing negativity than positivity, more pointing towards lack than abundance, would you agree? Mm. More towards stress than calm. Now, the good news is that by using our conscious mind, remember this little guy, we can actually grab hold of that compass needle and point it in a new direction. Like, if we're feeling sad, we can decide to call a friend or go for a walk or watch a comedy. The problem is we're only using our conscious mind 5% of the time. 95% of the time, we're what I call sleeping awake, where our elephant is in charge and we're operating out of preconditioned habit. And as soon as our little ant takes its hand off the needle, it'll always swing back to its default magnetic north. Is this making sense? Are you getting this? Now, how do you change that? Well, any physics teacher will tell you that to remagnetize a compass needle and change its polarity, you need to expose it to a stronger magnet and stroke it in a new direction over and over and over again. In other words, engaged neural conditioning is the process of reconditioning your current default thoughts in a way that your ant and elephant are finally marching in the same direction towards your success. Now, this can't happen if you're focused on the quick fix, which is why when it comes to getting ultimate self-mastery, marathoners win and sprinters fail. But as we come to the end of this training shortly, I'm going to show you the fastest proven way to break cell inertia for good and give you a plan that will guarantee the next 12 months will be massively different. Tell me you're getting this, guys. I mean, can you imagine the difference this is going to make to your life when you really put it into practice? And that also ties in perfectly with the last of our five shifts, and that is commit to effective action. Now, that may sound obvious, but the key is really...